Once again, our Type 21 U-boat engaged a heavily escorted convoy. This time, we managed to sink three merchant ships, totaling around 30,000 tons, and slipped away undetected. The reality of the situation, however, is that U-2513 only has five torpedoes left, and we are still a very long way from Bergen. Instead of heading to grid BB-96, our assigned patrol area from BDU, we will head northeast and continue to patrol grid AJ and AK. We have had considerable luck finding the enemy in these two grids, and hopefully our luck will not run out. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard U-2513 as we continue our first patrol. The boat is sitting at 40 meters and we have made a rather drastic course change here. We are heading back the way we came, heading back towards Bergen. The main reason for this is our torpedo situation. We have five torpedoes loaded in the tubes, no reserves of course down here, and two of these torpedoes we have are the T5 homing torpedoes. I figure if we encounter another convoy or even just a group of two ships, pretty much all of these torpedoes will be gone except the T5s, which will be nice to have in case we need to defend ourselves heading back to Bergen. Because uh, besides the two T5s, we have uh, two Fat 1 torpedoes and one Fat 2 up here in Tube 1. The T5s could be used against a convoy. They do have a interesting launch envelope though. They have to be... Yeah, the target has to be going at a minimum of 10 knots for us to uh, fire these and for the torpedo to actually home on the target. So we just need to keep that in mind when using these. But I figured I'd rather be closer to Bergen when we are really out of torpedoes than way down here and grid, uh, what is it, BB-96. Yeah, it's this one here. Um, that's just a long ways to go and I'd rather start working my way back home at this point. The boat has been at sea for quite a while now. It's currently December 13th, 1944. The new year is approaching rapidly and the crew is feeling it. They're pretty damn tired. At least a good chunk of them here are. And um, yeah, I've been trying to rotate, like some of these men are on the verge here of needing to uh, get switched out. So just definitely something I need to keep in mind here as we continue the patrol. I figure once we're done patrolling around grid AK, we'll head through the Denmark Strait and head back home to Bergen. I figure that would be the safest route uh, for us to go. Also, one, th one reason I kind of want to patrol up here is uh, we received a lot of reports of enemy hunter killer groups or task forces operating throughout here. And, you know, I wouldn't mind uh, the last kill of the patrol being a, you know, escort carrier. I think that would be kind of cool. So I'm going to try to hunt for an enemy escort carrier. We'll see if we actually find one. And of course, uh, if not, we always have next patrol, maybe we'll see. But we are we are the hunter. Definitely. Um, the last uh, convoy engagement went off really without a hitch. However, we were fired upon by an enemy merchant ship, if I am remembering correctly. And Flatgun 2 was actually destroyed here. I did not realize our flat gun was destroyed in the moment. There was a lot going on and I missed that message. However, yeah, flat gun two is kaput. And if we go down here, we can actually see it. It is all twisted up and yeah, it's really just bored. So uh, in case we needed to use flat gun two, um, it, it, we can't do it now. Um, probably was never gonna touch the flat gun <laughs> on patrol. I think the most use our flat guns will get uh, in this series, especially is leaving port uh, for, you know, those, those pesky allied air raids, but yeah, I mean, we, we haven't even surfaced, so yeah, big loss there. Okay. Well, anyway, we will continue onward and I will keep you all updated as, uh, we patrol grid AK. Just a brief update on the enemy task force situation. We have two of them really just sandwiching us here. We have a task force up here heading west southwest. Speed is medium. Then we have another one down here heading east northeast, and their speed is medium. So we're definitely in the right area. Uh, we'll see if we can happen to cross one of these guys' path here up here. Like I said, I do remember just an absurd amount of hunter killer groups operating really just along this convoy lane, which makes perfect sense that they would be here. In other news, we did receive a radio message, the Battle of the Bulge, it has begun. A German offensive has been launched towards Antwerp. And then if we go down, U-400 has failed to make patrol reports, repeated attempts at contact for Zoom laws. So we have lost another U-boat in the Atlantic. 
Well, we will continue patrolling. I just wanted to give you all that brief little update. And it's December 17th, 1944, and it's around midday now, so we're operating at 30 meters here. Okay, just a brief update on our current situation. It's currently December 20th, 1944, and we received two radio reports, one of a large convoy and grid AK-45 heading northeast, and that is actually what this line is here, showing their course. And we also got another one, an enemy task force and grid AK-45 heading northeast as well, and that is this guy right here. But their speed is eight knots, so uh, this should be interesting for sure. But I'm just gonna head east and we'll see if we actually end up encountering them over here i doubt it but um we'll see what we can find we're going to start heading into grid ak and beginning our search for enemy contacts in here okay we have a report large convoy heading northeast their speed is eight knots according to the radio report here so at a speed of eight knots they will move around 15 kilometers every hour so in two hours they will be approximately right there we want to see if we can get into that position. I've increased our speed to 10 knots to see uh, what we can do here in two hours. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to sprint here. Let's try something like that. Let's see. Five. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like once we're actually hitting speed, we'll be here two hours and 30 minutes. We should be able to intercept. The unfortunate part is battery power is going to drain extremely quickly. We'll have have to pop up our snorkel a little bit to recharge those batteries and keep on sprinting, but uh, we should be able to make up for lost time. I mean, we could go 16 knots, but I'd rather uh, I'd rather you know slow and steady, right? Don't want to burn all of our battery power real quick. This boat is really good at sprinting, but it does not have legs at all. Anyway, this is what we are currently pursuing. Uh, we'll see if we actually end up making contact here. Okay, we've made contact with the enemy convoy. I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to get into position here. Our battery power is extremely low, unfortunately. Uh, but we will see what we can do, what we're working with here. There are lots of escorts in the area, which is uh, less than ideal, that's for sure. And this convoy seems very heavily escorted. As a matter of fact, I think that's one of them passing right behind me now. We're going to rig for silent running and drop speed down to four knots, please. Do not want to start getting pinged here. This is a very large convoy, however. I'm just checking real fast to make sure what we got. Time is it? It's currently 2200 hours, so it's going to be nice and dark. I did pop up the scope earlier and take a look. The seas are relatively calm. I think we may be able to get in here. Oh, battery power is at 20%. Um, not ideal. Okay, we're at four knots up scope. Let's take a look. Let's see if anything's close enough to fire at. Oh, we're really running on uh, barely anything here. Okay, here's a convoy. And wow, all right, right off the bat, large troop transport right there. Large tanker, another tanker. Oh my goodness, this is a nice convoy. Quite a few targets I want to take shots at. Let's check. Okay, there is a destroyer behind us with the searchlights on. They may be onto us, but he's pretty far out there. Just going to continue to scan. Okay, nothing too wild. It's cargo ships. Okay, let's increase speed in seven knots. I know, I know, we're gonna really... Oh, are there two trans... There are two troop tra transports here. There's three troop transports. Wow, okay. All right, down scope. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to hit all of them. We just gotta get close enough to fire at one and maybe a tanker. We can't be too picky here considering our current situation, but I think we should be close enough. Reduce speed, change course, new heading, 120. Their speed is 8 knots. We're going to fire our homing torpedoes as well. Let's see. Yeah, they said it was 8 knots. I know they said fire at 10 knots, but we'll see. I mean, a troop transport, I think, is worth the risk. 
Hopefully the torpedo homes. And if it doesn't, it'll just run straight with our uh, our solution. Okay, troop transport. Single stacker troop transport. What would that possibly be? We need to go back I'm all over the place today. Come on, get it together. Um, Ceramic type ocean liner. That, that looks like it. <laughs> I think I did see one of those. 5,000 tons, that's it. Large passenger cargo, 8,000. Up scope. This one, ocean liner, 24. Come on, get below four knots. There we go. We do have a large tanker right in front of us. That is quite a nice target as well. Okay. And they are zigzagging. Gosh darn it. Alright. Down scope, go back to seven knots. We gotta get closer to at least even if it's just a tanker. Even if it's just a tanker, I'll fire at it. I wanna get something out of this. I guess they did pick me up in my sprint. Okay, reduce speed down once again. This convoy is very long. Okay. Alright, four knots. We're in. Up scope. Yep, that's a pretty darn good target if I do say so myself. We're not going to hit any of the... Yeah, that, that troop transport. I think... I think that is just the smaller one too. I think, yeah, the 5,000 tonner. I think our uh, torpedoes are better used against the tankers, really. Look at that, uh, that replenishment ship there. It has some razzle-dazzle camouflage. That's pretty cool. Okay, anyway, lock on target. This is our primary medium tanker. Let's find it. Medium tanker, 7,000 tons. Lock on target. Identify it, yep. One kilometer out. Get that out of here. Angle on bow. Just shy of 90 to port. Speed, eight knots. Firing tube number three here, right? Nope, tube four. Tube four, speed fast, magnetic pistol, draft, 11 meters, open tube four. And we'll hit that one next. Crap. Searchlights are on. So our torpedo, it's heading straight for that medium tanker. Looks like it may end up being a pretty good hit here. This is a huge convoy though. I mean, look at all those troop ships. I think that one's probably the largest one of the bunch. And it looks like speed may have been a bit off. We're gonna hit her in the bow, but that's all right. It looks like it's still going to be a hit. I think the speed is lower than eight knots because she is in this pretty dramatic turn. Boom, there we go, torpedo impact. Right in the bow underneath that mass. We'll see if that's enough to cause significant flooding and to uh, drag her down. Up scope. That's, that's the goal here. Okay, we are in. I have stirred up a hornet's nest, that's for sure. And there's no uh, warships right next to me. We're going to wait for this merchant ship to get a little closer at a better angle, and then we will fire at her. Okay, I think she is in a good position. Up scope. There she is, another medium tanker. Lock on target. Range, let's get that range. 500 meters, tube number five will be fired. 
depth 11 and a half meters, magnetic pistol, speed fast, adjust speed, seven knots. Up scope. Lock on target, angle on bow is 90 degrees to port. Set, open tube five. Little down scope. Okay, number two is away. And see the wake of this torpedo as it is a G7A. How's that medium merchant doing? It looks like she is taking on water in the bow. And is this one going to, it looks like this one's gonna hit a bit more midship, which is ideal. Hopefully one Torpedo is enough. Forever. There we go, torpedo impact, and that actually started a fire on board. Come on, you're jamming. You're jamming. Perfect. Two tankers hit. We'll see if they end up going down. If anything, I hope they just slow down and we can finish them off as they are lagging behind the convoy with uh, some of these torpedoes, two of these torpedoes anyway. It's unfortunate we didn't get any shots at the troop transports, but you know what? Beggars cannot be choosers, especially in this case. I'm not too upset about that. We're going to drop down to 60 meters, try to slip away here undetected. All these warships are definitely going to start looking for us, however, so we need to be on the lookout and be wary as we try to slip away. But I think going, actually, let's go down to 100 meters. We're we'll rigged for silent running. Everything looking good. Glad we got two hits there. They were fairly basic shots, so no duds or anything like that. Dropping past 20 meters. All right, let's uh, let's try to get put some distance between us. I will keep you all updated as we try to slip away and let you know of the progress of those two merchant ships we hit. Just a brief update. It seems like there are quite a few depth charges going off behind us. They're pretty far away. I don't think they really have any clue where we currently are. We're going to drop down to around two or three knots here just to be nice and slow. And I still want to maintain contact with the convoy as we have those two ships we did hit. They still have not gone down. It's been a while since they hit as well. Let's see. How long has it been? Torpedo impact. That was the last one at 112. Oh, that was okay. So it's been it's 128. So it actually has not been that long. All this is in base time instead of local time. But anyway, we will keep tracking them. I just figured I would update you. We have not been pinged or anything like that. We're getting away uh, scot free. It would seem like it actually looks like these may be heading back towards the rest of the convoy. Anyway. We'll see if uh, these merchants end up going down or start lagging behind. Oh, there we go. She's going down. We just got that at 136. Let's take a look. Which one was that? There's the fire. I don't know. Oh, yeah. This one looks like it is probably the one that is sinking. This one is on its way. Uh, she's still moving, though, I think. But, yeah, it looks like we are going to end up getting both of these merchant ships. This one's definitely the one that is currently going down, however.
Well, there we go. Both ships ended up going down three minutes apart from each other. And that is confirmation. So let's take a look there. Yep, two. Oh, one of them was a whale factory ship, actually. I misidentified it. That's 12,000 tons. Not bad. And then the other was a medium tanker, which was properly identified. Okay, well, both sunk in grid AK-19, three minutes apart from each other. We are going to completely break contact now. Let's change our course. New heading 150 and get the heck out of here. I still want to engage something else preferably something that's going over the speed of 10 knots so we can fire off these t5s so we will keep our eyes peeled and keep hunting for possibly a hunter killer group or a fast convoy that we can just lob those torpedoes into and probably hit something you know um but overall pretty happy with that attack and it looks like we're going to get away scot-free it is unfortunate that our periscope continually gets uh picked up by either radar or spotters um while in the middle of the convoy. I think it's just it's just so hard not for it not to be spotted uh, at this point in the war. The allied watch crews and everything are top tier at this point. So, oh, well, anyway, another successful attack for a U-2513. We're going to break contact, and I think we're going to start making our way east, maybe northeast towards the Denmark Strait, where we'll go through and then uh, end up in good old Bergen, Norway. Okay, just another update. We have completely lost all hydrophone contact on the enemy convoy. We're currently crawling up to periscope depth where we are going to recharge our batteries. We just got a report that it is below 10%. So, uh, well, that was perfect timing, really, now wasn't it? Uh, that sprint was pretty risky. It would have been very bad if we completely ran out of battery power and were uh, subject to a depth charge attack. But thankfully, this boat is uh, pretty stealthy. And there we go. We are at 15 meters. Raise the snorkel. Get that thing up there. And we'll secure from silent running as well. And awesome. A very, very good attack, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and clear the map. And uh, like I said, we're going to start heading northeast. Jawohl, Herr Kaloyn. Okay, we were snorkeling as I normally do at night. as December 24th, 1944. That thing is coming in nice and fast. Let's lower our snorkel here and let's see if we can establish hydrophone contact on it. Uh, reduce speed down to three knots. Okay, destroyers, convoy. That sounds like a merchant ship. The Liberty cargo ships make that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay, we do have a convoy here. And it seems to be heading south. Let's change course. New heading uh, 080 zero here. And this is where we will fire off our last torpedoes, it would seem. Okay, we're increasing speed to six knots. Let's try to get in here. Get in the path of whatever the heck it, this is. Okay, reduce speed, four knots. Um, we have a fat torpedo and we have two homing torpedoes, so uh, we're just going to let them fly. I think. <laughs> I don't. I'm not too concerned about getting a 100% proper solution here. Hey, okay, we're down at four knots. Up scope. Let's let's see what's cooking. Still have our medium tanker up. Let's look dead ahead. We want to do a really rapid scan for warships first, right around us. Nothing super close. Okay. Oh wow. This is another just fat convoy. Got anything super good? Any carriers? <laughs> Uh, no, it doesn't look like there's an escort carrier in this one. 
Wow, four stacker destroyer in the lead. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. Okay, we got a medium cargo ship. There is, there are some troop ships in the convoy. I. It's always interesting. Let's change course slightly. Down scope. We're going to try to get these target speed here. Medium tanker. What's the length of this target? 167 meters. So if we use the Uyegd, we're going to use this red scale. Up scope. Uh, keep turning, please. There we go, rudder and midships. I don't want to slow down completely, so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to wait for the target to cross our reticle. And start. Looks like they are moving at a fairly quick pace here. Oh, and of course this ship's going to cut in front of me modern tanker stop eight knots I yeah that's a pretty safe bet and once again we are firing torpedoes at home in um, okay we're gonna fire I believe the modern tanker actually a bit larger yeah it's a bit larger so that's what we will fire at we're going to all right angle on bow 75 degrees to starboard speed eight knots set range to target 1.4 we are shooting tube number one tube one depth 12 meters open tube one it looks like she she is moving pretty quick here gyro angles a little wacky but that's fine a little okay. Torpedo is away. Change course. I think I'll fire at this one. No, don't go to snorkel depth. I think I'll fire my homing torpedoes through this gap at this this medium car or modern tanker. Excuse me. I'll just call it a T2 tanker. That's what I know it as. Tube three. 12 meters. Slow setting, of course. Speed 8 knots. Open. Angle on bow. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Just worried it's going to lock on to something else, but. If it does, it'll hit something. Beggars can't be choosers. All right. Last torpedo. Do I want to fire at something different? Like this troop transport? Sure, why not? Who knows if it'll hit? We'll take a look here. Oh, we're about to get a hit. Other side of the ship. Okay, we did hit the medium tanker, so perfect. All right, all torpedoes are away. Down scope as the last attack on Christmas Eve, 1944. One hour before Christmas Day. And now let's see how these homing torpedoes do. I think it's locked onto something. I, this one certainly has. Definitely not the primary target. It is homing in on... Probably this guy, huh? Yeah, damn. That's unfortunate. Uh, what, Empire-type freighter here? But you know what? I'll take it, I suppose. Contact. Frachter. Entfernung gleich bleiben. If it'll go off. Drei, drei, Maybe too Mittlere deep. Entfernung. Oh, that's going to be an issue. Well, hopefully it swims around and locks on to something with a deeper draft. You can do it. Oh, it's it's going. 
Is it going full circle or has it homed on to something else? Please home on to something else. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was just sniffing Contact. around here. This is exciting. Where's our other one? Okay, they're both kind of swimming around this area. We'll see what we get. Um, this is... Torpedo oh, there we go. Perfect. Hit that modern tanker. Actually, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I don't... I don't know what the targets were intended. I think maybe torpedo our first typhoon. torpedo did hit. That was intended for this modern tanker hit the medium taker in the back. That's what happened. And then the two homing torpedoes managed to hit this modern tanker. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll take it. I'm not complaining. That's two ships hit, two fairly large tankers. And we are down at 25 meters. Uh, let's get moving. Let's get this boat on the move. Uh, let's start moving at five knots. Get the hell out of here. And stop fiddle farting around. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I figured out what happened there. Interesting. I wonder by how much that fat torpedo missed and uh, hit this target. I guess it could have started its ladder pattern and ended up hitting it, but who knows? I'm not concerned. We hit two tankers. Like I said, beggars can't be choosers. I'm I'm a little surprised both homing torpedoes managed to hit the same target. Yeah, Figured one of them would go off somewhere else, but um, that's fine. That works out, especially because this modern tanker looks like it is not phased at all. Can't really see what was hit, and star shells are blasting into the sky. Overall, a Fairly nice convoy. This troop ship here. Two troop ships. Well, time will tell. We'll see if we actually hit these. These medium cargo or medium tankers seem to only take one torpedo, so who knows if we'll actually get it. We have completely broken contact from the convoy, and we're sitting here listening to them, and it doesn't seem like any of them are lagging behind, unfortunately. Uh, battery power is going to be the limiting factor for how long we can trail them and it's not like we can do a follow-up attack so i'm really surprised actually um that that modern tanker a shrugged off both torpedoes and isn't slowing down and then also the medium tanker where we just sunk two of them um you know in the previous convoy attack it, it is not slowed down as far as i can tell and they're all you know formed up here but anyway we'll see we'll see how this goes if we get anything if not uh, at least we damaged uh, two more tankers, so <laughs> we'll see, though. Well, the battery power is down to around 25%. It's currently uh, 1.59 in the morning local time, and the Allied Convoy just continues to increase the distance between the two of us. I'm not going to be able to chase them for much longer, and like I said, it doesn't look like either of them are lagging behind. I guess those two ships just shrugged off those hits, I have to say, I'm very, I'm really surprised about the modern tanker. Um, I guess where she was hit, it was not, obviously not critical. Um, but who knows? It is what it is. I'm just surprised because that one took two and she just kept going and didn't even slow down. Uh, the medium tanker we hit, I, I'm still surprised about as well after we saw two of them uh, sink after one impact down here in AK-19. Uh, but it is what it is. Can't change it. And like I said, I mean, we have nothing. We cannot re-pursue. So we are heading home. I was going to go through to Denmark straight, but I've decided we'll just go through grid AE here and head home towards Bergen, where we will resurface after a very long and, I must say, fairly successful patrol, um, especially for our first patrol. So pretty good, uh, pretty good tally we've racked up here. Anyway, we're going to head home to Bergen. Of course, I'll keep you all updated. We're going to pop up our snorkel here shortly once we've completely lost hydrophone contact with the convoy. We just got an interesting radio message from U2342. Explosion, blowing ballast, surfaced but sinking rapidly. U2342 was a Type 23 U-boat, and it was part of an operation of 10 boats that were taking essential supplies and also personnel to Norway. Uh, but U2342 happened to cross paths with an airdropped mine, and that's what this explosion was. 
but I thought that was rather interesting, so I figured I'd share it as we continue heading home. Well, it's currently January 1st, 1945 in game, and that means it is New Year's Day. And the funny part about it is this video will be going up on New Year's Day. So uh, just wanted to say Happy New Year's, everybody, <laughs> as we continue to head back to Bergen. I jogged our course down a little bit and just uh, kind of shave off some time. We still have a long, long ways to go, though. Um, and But yeah, I'm bringing in the new year here. It's January 3rd, 1945, and we've picked up this lone merchant ship out here just sailing all by its lonesome. No warships or anything around. This is actually the first ship we have detected uh, since the convoy attack, believe it or not. We've been uh, fairly luckily, lucky in that regard, but anyway, just figured I'd show it off. This merchant doesn't know how lucky it is that we're out of all of our torpedoes, but... And see how heavily armed that thing is as well. Anyway, down scope. We'll continue on our merry way. Well, I actually had my snorkel up and we picked up radar signals way out here. Lots of warships. Oh, coming straight for me, actually. Let's preemptively drop down to 80 meters, shall we? And reduce speed down to a crawl, down to three knots, please. Yeah, these are all warships. Yikes. I'm actually curious to see what is going on in here. Let's see, our boat's heading that way. And there they are, in visual range. Got some destroyers, hunt classes, it looks like. Oh, wow. Some cruisers. Look at that, okay. And then we also have an escort carrier right here. A British escort carrier. This is a hunter-killer group, no doubt about that. Kind of surprised to see the cruisers here. Very interesting, though, that we stumble across this with no torpedoes. Sounds about right. Okay, well, interesting. <laughs> of course, we always find uh, good stuff when we are out of torpedoes. That seems to be uh, a common occurrence in submarine warfare, right? especially during the Second World War. Anyway, we're gonna keep on uh, our merry way. Hopefully these guys don't pick us up. Uh, awfully close, awfully, moving fast, closing. Okay, they're just sailing on their way. Nothing really to worry about here. So we'll keep on moving. Oh, this one's lingering around. I'm just doing a search pattern and it's continuing on as well. Perfect. Oh, if only I had those homing torpedoes, I'd just lob them in there. Cause some trouble. Anyway, they're putting more distance between the two of us. We will... We were actually just snorkeling a little bit, so battery power is okay. We're getting rather close to Bergen here, so... Uh, the mission is almost over. It's January 6th, 1945 as well. Just in case any of you were curious. Well, here we are, finally. It feels like we're never on the bridge of this boat, uh, but we have made it into the fjords of Norway, as you can see off in the distance, and we have finally surfaced U2513. 
as she concludes her first war patrol. The crew is probably very happy to get some real fresh air inside of the boat after well over a month submerged. Let's go ahead and raise that. Not that we need it, but I like it up. But anyway, we're going to make our way. Let's go standard speed into Bergen. And we're going to hit the bar. Well, here we are. We have arrived at Bergen, Norway once again. It's like a lovely little town. It's nice to be home. Nice to see land. We are alive and with minimal damage. Um, I'm curious to see what our whole integrity is like. I think the hardest we were hit was honestly right into the uh, rear flat gun there. Um, but let's go ahead and finish the mission. Let's say exit patrol and dock at Bergen. So we ended the mission with 85,597 tons of shipping sunk and we sunk 12 ships. We started with 60 crew and ended with 60 crew. So everyone got back in one piece. And here we go. That is the end of technically patrol number two. Uh, patrol number one was um, our shakedown in the Baltic. I have been promoted to Oberleutnant and my crew has earned medals and promotions. I don't think I actually got any medals or anything. Hull integrity, 99.65. So yeah, the boat was fine. Absolutely fine. Okay, uh, let's see. No medals. Uh, how unfortunate. Uh, but other than that, I think that's really all I have. We got some renown, so we can probably upgrade the boat a little bit. If anything, we can take more of the fancy torpedoes for our next patrol, like the Type 11 here. Um... Yeah, that could be quite exciting, and uh, I'm sure there's some other upgrades I can see, but this boat is pretty decked out at this point. Well, that's all I have for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. The Type 21 has proved to be a very powerful uh, submarine, as we can see, and I think we probably have two, maybe three more patrols in the Type 21 um, before the end of the war, of course. Uh, definitely will not be as long of a series as the Type 9 series, for example, but... Anyway, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.